Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and our last video of the French Corner Crane. Very proud of this uh, project. Um, it's probably taken about two years for us to finish. Uh, it has tested all my skills, woodworking, finishing, metal repair, uh, electronics, rebuilding motors, finding, sourcing different parts and pieces, but uh, now that it's all done, it is uh, just uh, it's a nice feeling to have this thing finally done. Some beautiful carvings on the top on both sides. It must have been game number 25 someplace. Now, if you remember from the first videos, um, the cabinet came to us, it was stained, though it had a lot of scratches, dings, uh, the veneer was peeling and bubbling, and uh, we repaired all of it. We did not strip this machine, but this is more of a preservation restoration. Now, the inside's another story. Uh, again, you need to watch the first video and if you remember it was set up for european electric and it had a converter inside there and it had a spaghetti mess of wires um again these machines were not made to make well this machine was made to look beautiful because it is like a hotel version uh the years are early 1900s and um over time when they break down they just fix them as fast as they can so they can get them back up and running to make money. And that's what all this was about. So let's see what makes this machine work. And here's a little sneak peek of what actually going on inside here. There you see the three can arms in the far back. Maybe if I come around here, you'll see them a little better. There's three arms that are manipulated to make this crane do its job. And what's doing that is the three cams that manipulate the arms to do that. And another neat thing, you see this period style wiring going here, is there are two mercury switches. one here and you'll see another one let's go right up on top right right there there we go now mercury is, uh, conducts electricity and depending on the position of that little tube it will either break the circuit or make the circuit so right here it is set up that it's not making the circuit, so nothing's happening. But when we put our coin in, it tilts it and it will make the circuit and will turn on the machine. And we have another switch up on top. This one is uh, made, so there is currently power going to the switch all the time. And I'll get to that in a minute. Down below, we have something that wasn't in the machine before, but we redid all the wiring. In fact, um, we tore everything out as it, I spent days trying to figure out the spaghetti mess. So then I finally said, let's just get it out and redo it. And I made my own schematics and our own Jones plugs um, connections. And uh, figured out what I needed the machine to do in an order and uh, made it happen. Here we have an original coin box. And what you're seeing right here is a gas shock for your door to get your goodies out. Oh, there's some inside there already. 
And if you also looked at in our original videos, you would have noticed that this entire plate was covered with holes. And they were from different lock sets and switches that they put inside here. And we had to have that all repaired. And uh, I will uh, throw a little info in here. This was done by Roger of Touch of Class Metal Polishing Company. And he did a phenomenal job. So as I was saying, we had one switch that was constantly on. And that switch is going to be the motor that controls your left to right operation. So in order, when you'd walk up to this machine, the little kid would say, oh boy, look at those toys. I want that yo-yo. <clears throat> Sorry, but I want that yellow yo-yo. So you would uh, go here and with the top handle, you would move this crane left to right. It only goes one way and there's a six second delay on either far left or far right. So now what we're going to do is kind of line it up. And as you can see, I kind of lined up the crane for that yellow yo-yo. Now, where's the position? It's positioned pretty much in the center of the toys. So, I'm going to zoom in there for you. You'll see a gauge with a little brass dot there that I can control to go all the way to the front, which AV, Avante, I believe in French means forward, and uh, AR, which I don't know what it means, must mean rear. But I'm going to gauge that a little bit towards the center, but I'm going to back it up a little bit because when the crane drops, it's got weight and it will swing. So I want it to swing a little bit more forward so that would give me the center, if that makes any sense. I hope you're following this. So let's take a look when I drop our little French token inside here. Oh, we were close. And we're still a winner. We got a Smarty, but I'm gonna try it one more time. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, we're sitting right on it. Oh, we got a, a ball and a little soldier. So there is a lot of skill that can go into this game because of the swing of the, the crane itself. Let's take a look of the operation on the inside of the machine and watch the cams do their job. So, here we are, we're gonna drop our coin in and we'll do it on two sides so you can see the... That is one full cycle. And we'll do it from another view. Another thing to note that once the game starts, once you put your money in and the cycle starts, our maneuvering of the motor will stop because that mercury switch, as soon as the motor starts, starts here, I'll kind of do it by hand here, it will push this up, breaking the circuit and stopping stopping the operation of you trying to trying to fine tune the drop right before the you know the crane actually drops its bucket so let's get a different view of this very very cool and here we're going to open up our front door, which is a little lever. Now, this curved glass is original and is the trim, though it has been all re-nickel plated. And let's take a look 
inside. Oh, we got a little lizard in there. The lizards, I think you have to, we got to lose the lizard because that's making the toy stick up there. So let me grab him out, throw him back in the pot here. So we got a lot of toys here. Probably a hundred dollars worth of junk, but uh, we needed it in here to see this machine actually work. As I said, all the parts have been re-nickel plated. And the machine is absolutely beautiful. One of the neat features is this completely mechanical claw that was all replated. Um, when you plate material, it adds material to the existing piece of metal. So when we got this back, needless to say, none of this worked the same way because all the parts that were had to be taken apart and had to be put back together. And uh, spent a lot of time getting this thing to work this smooth. So let's try it again a little close up. We'll move our train a little bit and we'll put our money in. And we could do it one more time. Reach in and get another coin. this time. Oh, almost had a smarty. Well, there you have it. If you're in the market for a crane, if you need one restored, or if you have one for sale, please contact us. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7464. Thanks for watching.